The El Paso Zoo Society is responding to the audit that found six problems within the nonprofit and the El Paso Zoo. Yeah, we've got KFOX 14 News at 5's Julia Spencer live for us at the zoo to tell us how the society is explaining that these problems were not just their fault. Julia? This 39-page document details several issues between the El Paso Zoo and the Zoo Society. And today I spoke with the El Paso Zoo Society for them to explain the problems listed in this document and whether or not they believe that the city used this audit to end their 60-year partnership. I do want to let the public know the original purpose of this audit to be conducted was to identify areas, deficiencies, and areas for improvement to build a new contract. Right, for negotiation. Not to use it against us. And now it's being used as a weapon. An audit was conducted on the license agreement between the El Paso Zoo and the El Paso Zoological Society in January. The audit revealed failures in its six areas. Today, the Zoological Society responded to each failure. First, their part in taking longer than 60 days to pay invoices for society events. We have to be invoiced by the city or by the zoo in order to pay for it. Five months later, we still didn't have an invoice from the city to pay for zookeepers, to pay for maintenance. If we don't receive the invoice, how, how are we going to pay? pay it? The audit also points out that the Zoo Society raised the membership prices and offered discounts without getting approval from the zoo director. However, they say the opposite. The zoo director reviewed, adjusted as, as, as he saw fit, and then the pricing was implemented. And we have the emails to prove that. The audit also states that the Zoo Society failed to turn in financial statements on time between 2021 and 2023. They say that new management prevented them from doing it the right way. When the Zoo Society and the new Zoo Administration uh, took over, the Zoo Director told me, just send them to me. And so I was sending them to the zoo director and then the city comptroller contacted me and said I don't have these quarterly reports. The audit also mentions the lack of a fundraising plan which the zoo society is responsible for creating. Again they blame the zoo director for failing to provide a project plan for their fundraising plan. How are we supposed to fundraise for non-existent project and so we requested that Zoo director, can you please present a formal? And he declined. Before ending my interview with the Zoo Society, I asked them one final question. Do you think this is use, being used as a weapon against you? Correct. Yes. Yes. They're minor. They're minor violations. We've corrected them, but... I'm still waiting to see when the zoo director will be available to respond to these statements as well as his failures listed in this audit. To read the full audit, you can head to our website at kfoxtv.com. Reporting live, Julia Spencer, KFOX 14 News at 5.